Welcome back. We have Tara McPherson joining us from the Sun Peaks Grand. She is the food and beverage manager at the hotel. Welcome back to the show, Tara. Thank you very much. Yes. Big, exciting news today for the beer lovers in the crowd, which is almost everybody. What's your news? Okay. Well, the uh, the Ski Hill, in conjunction with uh, Sun Peaks uh, Brewing Corporation and uh, BC Brewing Corporation, uh, is launching on Friday uh, Sun Peaks Bruco with a Sun Peaks Cream Ale and a Sun Peaks Honey Brown. Okay, this is huge. You guys said this has been in the works for like a year. Approximately a year talks have been going on mm -hmm. and uh, throughout the negotiations, uh, Masses has, uh, has partnered with Sun Peaks Bruco and so you're going to be able to taste Sun Peaks Cream Ale on the mountain on Friday. That's awesome. And of course, uh, the growlers just adding to the uh, the feel of it all. I love these. They're great. Absolutely. Uh, so there's two different uh, types of beer right now, two different craft beers that are being offered. Uh, and which one are we trying today? Uh, we're going to try the cream ale right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is going to go over well, like you got to know. <laughs> it's going to be very so. popular. I might not be able to open it. Well, are they all the same? Because I can yeah. give one a go. Yeah, if you want to give one a go. I just put hand cream on before the show, so yeah, I got you, it. you got her. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. It's actually really well sealed, uh, and the mm -hmm. reason for that is because you can actually get three to six weeks out of these growlers. Right. So how does it work? People can bring in their old growlers, exchange them, and get another or something. Is that exactly. right? Exactly. So on Friday, uh, we're going to be offering these growlers for uh, a one-day introductory price of $5, which includes the $2 deposit for the growler and $3 for the beer, which is the minimum that we can charge for this volume of beer. That's a pretty good um, deal. Yeah. So basically, you're getting yeah. it for a really good deal on Friday. And then after Friday, you can actually uh, take your empty growler back to Masses, and Masses will actually take that empty growler and give you a brand new full one okay. uh, for just the price of the beer moving forward. Mm -hmm. And that price will, uh, uh, it will, uh, it will be determined by Masses team. Okay. So only available at Masses. Going forward, as things get more established, uh, do you see this expanding? Definitely. Um, there's definitely going to be some tap beer opportunities for uh, the purveyors in the village. Um, it's not something that we at the hotel actually uh, are very connected to, but uh, we will definitely be uh, putting something on tap. Well, cheers to that. Okay. Let's give this a try. This is the Sun Peaks Cream Ale. Mm -hmm. Delicious, really. You know what? What goes better with Apres Ski, really, than a nice craft beer? And this uh, fits the bill completely. It's Absolutely. Delightful. It's really citrusy. It's got yeah. a little bit of hops. It's 100% BC products, mm -hmm. so nothing outside of BC. Uh, the hops are uh, exclusively from the hop farming Kamloops. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So that's something to look forward to. If you're heading up to the mountain this weekend, you can stop by Masses, uh, try one of these out. $5 for this growler, uh, and that will get you a nice sample of this craft beer. Uh, beyond the news about the Sun Peaks Brewing Company, there's some great things going on up at the mountain for Christmas. Yes. So this weekend, um, uh, clearly, this um, uh, Sun Peaks Brewing Company has uh, has decided to come on board for this kickoff weekend. Uh, we also have on Friday night we have Rusty, uh, a world famous ice carver. He's carving uh, a, um, an ice bar on the Mantles patio. And then on Saturday we have a huge lineup slated. We have an artisan market in the lower lobby of the hotel, mm -hmm. featuring 14 local purveyors. Um, if you're looking for uh, gift giving ideas, uh, make sure you stop by and uh, and pick something up there. Nice. Uh, we have um, we have a gingerbread unveiling in the lobby of the hotel at two o'clock, um, and that's going to be in conjunction with Blackwell Dairy. Um, they're sponsoring a rum and eggnog station that will be complimentary for anybody coming by. Sounds I like think fun. I think we can give away like 500 rum and eggnogs or something oh, like I that bet you could. in the lobby. So, yeah. and then uh, and then Santa's coming. He is going to be on the Morrissey's patio uh, from one until five p.m. Uh, the Scouts and the Salvation Army are giving away hot chocolate and coffee for donation. We have a selfie uh, a selfie station up by the Tourism Sun Peaks offices. We have a groomer float, so we're decorating it with lights and people can get their pictures taken with the groomer float. And then with the ice bar that was being built on the Friday night is actually going to be open uh, from 12 until 5 on the Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be in conjunction with Rusty the Ice Carver. And he's going to be carving um, a border and a skier uh, live for people. So come on by and grab like a specialty coffee or something and, and have a look. Tell me about this ice bar. How does this work? Well, ba well, basically, the ice you build an ice bar, and then you actually serve drinks off of it. And so we're going to have a martini luge, so we're going to be making martinis, um, and then we're going to be having some hot drinks uh, to go with it. There'll be a bartender stationed out there and everything. Okay, so Rusty, the ice carver, we saw a picture of him earlier. How hard is it for him to do this? Like, that's pretty big. That's a lot of work. But... He's, he's been doing it a long time. Okay. He's, he's going to China in uh, in January for the World Snow, Snow Sculpting Championships. Mm -hmm. um, he has built, like, the ice castle at the Chateau Lake Louise in the past. He does some really, really phenomenal work. So uh, 
um, if you if you want to know how it's done, come see. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, great time to be up at the village. Clearly, the weather is great. Uh, it's cold, sure, but bundle up and have some fun in the sunshine. Lots of things going on uh, mm -hmm. for you guys in the next couple of weeks. Definitely, yeah. and uh, and Christmas is going to be uh, Christmas is going to be uh, jam packed with adventure. Uh, I mean, the snow conditions are fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to start to warm up on Saturday. We're hoping uh, so. Those minus twenties won't be uh, won't be around for long, mm -hmm. and uh, and we're expecting to have really good snow conditions over the holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, Santa Claus reading in the lobby. It's Christmas Eve at 7.30, Santa Claus is going to read uh, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, open to all hotel guests and anybody in the village that wants to drop by. Mm -hmm. It'll be just in the in the little private room off of the lobby called the reading room. Fantastic. And then we have to talk about New Year's. We have 30 seconds, but we can put these on. Okay. New Year's Eve, right? So New Year's have to have these on for New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve will be in the Grand Ballroom this year. We have, uh, we have Extreme Radio from Vancouver. They're a really, really popular uh, band out of Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're going to be playing from nine o'clock and taking us right into 2017. We have a, we have a gala dinner buffet that evening as well. Mm -hmm. And so uh, get your tickets. We're probably 50% sold out okay. right now. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's interested, uh, they should definitely uh, give us a call. Awesome. All right, Th Tara. Thank you so much for all of this. Lots of things going on. I had no idea there's so many events taking place actually up at the hill. So uh, the beer's a hit. It's great as well. Thank you. Uh, so good luck on Friday when you guys unleash this at Massa. It's going to be great. Uh, if you're looking for information, if you would like to make a reservation, that bottom internet address, uh, website address rather, that's the one to make as well. You can also phone them at 578-6000. Quick break. When we come back, we're talking about the Valentine's Hair Massacre with Paul Cuthbert. Stay with us.